Okay, so we're going to find the domain of the inverse function. So for that, of course, we've got to go back to f and we, we could consider what the domain and range is for that. So we've got the domain for f, we just need to work out the range. So this one is an interesting one because, um, let's see what happens now when we put minus infinity into the function, okay? So see what it goes towards, obviously, because um, minus infinity is an, a number, of course, but we'll see what it tends towards. So. Um, you put minus infinity in and you get that, don't you, on the top and on the bottom you get this. This is different to the previous ones because in the previous ones you, the top was like a constant number, fixed number, and you were dividing it by infinity. So it's like a cake divided by infinity, you, you get nothing, right? But here we've got infinity on the top as well, so it's, it's not a cake situation here. All right. So what we can do is look at what this sort of tends towards here. Now, the plus 3 doesn't really make much of a difference here on the top, right? Because, you know, if you're negative infinity and you're adding 3, still negative infinity. But the 4 will make a difference, okay? You see that the 4 actually will make a difference now. So on the top, we get minus 4 lots of infinity, okay? That's what we get on the top, right? So we need to keep that sort of 4 there, and you'll see why now. But it is negative 4 infinity. On the bottom... Well, that 7, again, doesn't make much of a difference. Okay, it's this that makes the difference, isn't it? Okay, 5 lots of minus 5 times minus infinity, okay? And, of course, because this minus times a minus, it becomes a plus, doesn't it? Okay, so you get 5 lots of infinity, okay? So, on the bottom, it becomes positive infinity. On the top, it becomes negative infinity. These multiples make a difference because when you divide... The infinities actually cancel each other out okay because you've got like infinity divide by infinity is one yeah so the multiple in front of them in this case then is significant okay because the size of infinity then is sort of relative so in this case then we can see that we're left with when the infinities cancel okay when they divide each other it becomes one because infinity massive divided by massive is one think of it that way you just get that and you get minus four over five okay so that's what it goes to minus four over five when you put one in okay we get um what do we get we get four lots of one plus three over seven minus five lots of one so that will equal to on the top you get seven on the bottom you get up to so there's our um, there's our range going to be there, right? So it's going to go from minus four fifths to seven over two. Okay. Now, what do we include? Well, minus infinity gave me minus four fifths, so we don't include that. But of course, seven over two um, is included because it came from one. Okay. So there is my range, okay? So that means then the domain for f inverse becomes um, the range, of course, from f. So you've got minus 4 fifths, 7 over 2.